This is a video on how to download the Autodesk software for our classes. Whether it's Inventor or AutoCAD, the process is the same. This happens to be the students.autodesk.com website. The first thing you want to do is log in or register. In your case, you want to register. And when you click the registration tool, it's going to ask you uh, your email address and confirming email. Make sure you use your my.sinclair.edu email address. Makes it much easier. And then you need to self-identify whether you're a student or a faculty member um, for that process. They'll also ask you some other information. And if you don't receive uh, an email, you can resend that registration email here. I'm going to go ahead and log in and work from that direction. So the key is eligibility, eligibility and usage requirements. Remember the software is to be used for classroom educational use, um, not for commercial use. It does encode inside each drawing that's created your serial number, so be careful with that. We're going to go ahead and log in and we'll sign in. What's going to happen is that we'll start up, and my screen will look slightly different than yours. Let me go back to the home under Autodesk Education Community. Mine will look slightly different, but yours will be pretty much the same for the download portion. Um, we're going to download Autodesk software. And so the key thing with the Autodesk software is that you get a variety of all the Autodesk software tools that you can choose. Whether it's game development software like Maya, architectural software like Revit. Um, we're interested primarily on the mechanical engineering side on the Inventor Professional and the AutoCAD software depending upon which class that you're looking to. We're going to go ahead and go to the Download Center and you're going to see a long list of software cap capable tools that you can download. Uh, we're talking tens of thousands of dollars worth of software that you can download and use in your system. Remember that your system needs to have an updated operating system. If you don't do Windows updates, you need to do a Windows update before you install the software. Uh, you have to have fairly a fairly recent commu computer, um, minimum four to six gigabytes of RAM, uh, Windows 7, Windows Vista, um, Windows 8 uh, operating system soon. But the idea is that if you take a look at all the different product tools that you can choose from, there is a lot. They also have AutoCAD not only for, uh, they also have AutoCAD for the Mac. Um, you can download that particular tool also if you're running Mac equipment. Uh, if you're looking for design visualization, design visualization, the Autodesk Alias tools and showcase are fantastic tools for uh, creating photorealistic images and animations. But what we're interested in primarily at this point is the Inventor software. So under Inventor Professional, you need to know a few things about your system. You want to know what version you're going to choose and always choose the latest version. I happen to be in 2013, it could be 14, 15, 16, just the latest version. What language? Again, choose your, your preferred language. And the most important thing to, to know is what operating system. Are you running a 32-bit or a 64-bit operating system? And you can find that information out by going to your uh, control panel and under your uh, software area it'll list the, or your system status will list whether it's a 32-bit or a 64-bit operating system. When you hit next, it'll come up on a download screen. And it'll, excuse me, it'll provide you a, a serial number and product key. Make sure you don't share that serial number with others. This is your personal serial number. That's important. I have blocked my serial number out so that way um, it's already been used anyways but I don't need anybody else installing it. The install now button you can either install it 
directly from Autodesk. And this is about a 3 gigabyte download, so be aware of that. Dial-up users, you probably don't want to download it at dial-up. If you come into the lab at Sinclair, you can download it there. A little bit faster than dial-up. Um, download now. And download now means you can download it, but install it later, meaning you're going to make a, you're going to save the, uh, the image file that it's going to download, browser download, and then help me decide. So typically, most users will install it directly. Some more advanced users will want to download it and then do a, a, a personal installation. If you download at Sinclair, you'll want to use the download now to save it. Make sure you've got an 8 gig or larger flash drive to download this software so that, because it, it takes up almost 4 gigs of uh, space. So a 4 gig flash drive will probably not be enough. Once you start downloading or installing it, it'll then uh, go through the, the installation process. If, there's, if it fails on the installation process, Sinclair does not provide any technical support. You'll need to go to the support menu under the Autodesk Education Community. So just, in, just log back in, go to the support menu, and then it'll ask you, do you have a question? Yeah, we have a question. Um, we want to log in. We have login installation. Nope, we got installation issues. Well, I can guarantee that somebody else in the world has had your problem about installation. And it could be many different things. I've had students that didn't have the latest Microsoft uh, operating system updates, and that's what failed their installation, just because they didn't update their operating system. Um, you want to make sure that you, you have uh, all your drivers updated, meaning video graphics drivers and so forth, and that goes along with, because Microsoft uh, operating system will automatically update your drivers also, um, not as the most current version, but at a more recent version. So again, you can go through and, and your questions are answered here, and if you're not, answered, go ahead and ask the question and you will get a, uh, it'll go through the FAQ, find a response for you. Other things under the learning tool, there is a lot of videos that you can watch. There's e-learning, there's workshops that are there. But the point being is that you're not on the island alone. There's always help if you don't understand a topic. Um, that's the advantage of utilizing the software. All right, this is a short, quick hit menu on how to download the software. We've accomplished that task. Have a great day.